Hey, what is going on, Couch Potatoes? Thank you for joining your boy once again on Christopher's Couch. As always, I am the one, the only Christopher. And today I'm going to be bringing y'all reaction, review to the originals, season four, episode 12, Voodoo Child. Last episode, we left off with uh, two big things. We left off with Elijah coming back. Well, I guess three things. Elijah coming back, um, finding out that the hollow um, is basically hiding out in um, in Hope's body. And two, I guess Haley coming to this realization that, uh, you know, she might not be all that into Elijah like we thought she was. Like, this whole thing has been a facade. And... She knows what she should do. She knows what she needs to do, but can she do it? And we're here to figure out what exactly is she talking about? What does she need to do or feel like she need to do? And can she do it? So without further ado, you guys, let's get it. God. 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 People. Where's my Vaseline? People. Uh, look, your brothers and I aren't trying to kill each other. That's about as mended as that's gonna get. If they stick around, it's only a matter of time before that changes. Oh, so dramatic. You know, not everything is about power struggles and French Quarter land grab. Does Rebecca got it? Can she sweet talk this man into changing his mind? Look, this only complicate what needs to happen. All right, you and your family need to leave. So last night was what? One last kiss goodbye? It was a mistake. <laughs> All right, look, Sophia's in the other room. Once my witch gets here, I'll finally have a way to wake her up. Tell me that you feel nothing for me and I'll never ask again. Rebecca? Go. This dude must really love Sophia. Damn, she really over suit and tie. Welcome back, Sophia. Marcel's missed you. The hollow's magic put you in a coma. I got the right ingredients, and then, with the help of a witch, how are you feeling? When the hollow grabbed me, it was like I was shoved down into some dark corner of myself. I never felt so lost. Like I was slipping away moment by moment. That sounded like some After get out type of shit. Me. I wasn't dreaming my way back. Yeah, but you did. You made it back. This might become a power couple right here, people. I don't think she's gone. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't be strong for my mommy and daddy if I can't do magic. Hope you don't have to protect them. We're all here to protect you. Now let's get your bracelet. No. Uh-oh. Sweetheart, in a thousand years, our family has never been bested. There's nothing that can defeat us. Well, there is one thing. Oh, 
<laughs> oh shit. You coming to see me this morning? Hey, they just had some sex. Truth is, they just uh, had some sex. I almost ran. Pretty good at that, actually. Freya tripping. Why didn't you? I would have been staying in bed with her the whole well, day. So I know we're not always the most open around here, but I have to tell someone. <laughs> oh, wrong? like she just lost her virginity or something. Or what happened last night? The holler had me. She could have killed me, but she didn't. She just took my blood and left. Why? Well, blood can be used for a number of reasons. Locator spells, healing spells, linking spell. Linking spell. She didn't link herself to me. I took this from Hope's room. Do a reading on this. Tell me what kind of energy you feel. Here we go. It's the hollow's magic. Lavinier blood was supposed to kill her. Unless she tapped into your bloodline deliberately, found a way to overcome the power and turned it into a strength. She knows that I want her, my own daughter. What do we do? Uh-oh. What do you do? This is about to be interesting, people. You can tell. Did y'all see Klaus smiling like he knows? He's about to snap some necks, people. for that book and to kill a lot of you. Got a little kid in the group? That dude looks like a 15-year-old or something. Even if you succeed in taking the book. You will stop nothing. The spell has already begun. Well, that is unfortunate. Wait! <laughs> You've no idea the gravity of your situation, do you? Who's oh, next? You spend the last few moments of your life illuminating things for us. The Hollow has shed her flesh to take on that of another. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll kill that body as well, and on and on until she gets the hint. Oh, you won't dare kill the body she's taken. Yep. Even now she's locking herself within the greatest witch this world may ever know. Yeah. Touch of irony. It's someone you would rather die than allow to be harmed. Y'all gotta kill him. <laughs> so you're fighting. I'm fighting. End of discussion. Sex again. Sex again. Just can't Just get enough. Please. Don't try to stop me. Freya, once you go black, you never go back. What the hell was that? Yeah. That's a Bill Cosby drug. All right, what's happening now? Let me guess. You're here on behalf of the Hollow? All right, then listen up. The only way you're going to get to Vincent is over my King, dead body. King Marcel. Marcel. I can't die. King Marcel. I tried, right? <laughs> I don't care how long it takes her. Right? I, I can't wait to see this shit. <laughs> Their worst nightmare, people. You won't hurt me. I'm your daughter. Put okay. us. Inado. Put a whooping on her. Did she just use a Batman smoke screen or something? How long do we have? She's not going to be happy when she breaks through that sleep spell, which means we need to work fast. What? 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 There's people dying. It's 
snap some necks, Marcel. Not the sister. Aw, oh, man. Somebody come save him. Sophia. Uh oh. King and queen. Hope will fight you. I can feel her love for you. It's a shame. It's not enough. Sophia, that was fast. Hope, hope, listen to me. You need to stay awake, okay? You have to stay with me. Can you do that? I'll try. You're strong. Hope you can do it. Predictable. Don't piss off suit and tie. I killed you once, Elijah. I won't hesitate to do so again. She's just taking them all out one by one. Show yourself. What's the Not King Marcel, please. Bad hollow, too scared to face me. I hide from no one. Especially not some would-be king of New Orleans. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face, but damn. That is vicious. Ooh, Vincent. You must have struck a nerve. I'm sure you had a hell of a lot more to say, but it doesn't even matter because he kept you occupied long enough for me to trap you. Vincent! You, think you can defeat me? You're welcome to try. But once Hope Michelson gives in, I will be more powerful than you can even imagine. That's not gonna happen. See, I've been communing with the ancestors. Your mama among them. She <laughs> gave me the spell that she used to kill you. And now I'm gonna put you in your cage forever. Vincent, people. But can he get the job done? It was mean. And I would revel in the terror which I inspired in others. Mm -hmm. But hope. Um, I can vouch for all that. I saw you. I wanted nothing more than to be worthy of being your father. Come on, hope. That you're feeling right now, that's called losing. Because after this, you're never ever gonna be able to lock yourself inside of Hope Michaels, and then once I put you inside of this book, you're never gonna be able to get out again. So, arete magic sa ah. Arete magic sa ah. I'm afraid. Hope. This boy Vincent is getting cocky, people, but I'm afraid this man might be counting his chickens before they hatch. Is he rapping? What? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, people. Ah, oh, shit, people. How do y'all feel knowing y'all are being led by a child?
<laughs> Just look away, Rebecca. Wow. I shouldn't even laugh. I'm sorry, Rebecca. A thousand years ago, we three made an eternal vow to protect each other, always and forever. Freya, that vow now includes you, as it includes my daughter. She's my heart and soul. Right now, she's out there, alone in the darkness. Fighting. We can't give up. So, if there's any chance, I think I know what to say. Anything. What you got, Vincent? At first, you didn't well, have nothing. This is gonna be the end of your family. What? This is gonna be the end. Of always and forever. What? Bro, what are you talking about? You guys, when I say that this was another good episode, I actually mean this was a great episode. I mean, give it up to the hollow. She was taking out the whole mystery gang, like, one at a time. Like, she really is something. And... That's saying a lot. I mean, even when Vincent trapped her in that, you know, salt circle or magic circle or barrier or whatever, the fact that she was even able to break it after a while, I mean, jeez. But you guys, so much happened. I mean, we got Sophia back. We had Vincent back this episode. We had some Elijah and uh, we had Elijah and Haley conversation that didn't really go well. Um, but most importantly, you all, most importantly, I mean, a, a bunch of stuff happened this episode. Some, some sad, some good, um, but mostly sad. But despite all of the sad shit that happened this episode, can we just take a moment to just to just think about that image of Keelan and Freya. Just just give me a moment, people. Y'all, If y'all don't need one, go get some water, go to the restroom or something. I need this moment, trust me. I need to, I need to keep this image in my head because I prayed for that, you guys. Some of us prayed for that and our prayers have been answered. Man, if they only had showed us a little more skin, I mean, it would have been nice to see Freya taking off her pants or something. See them panties, but I guess the bra and the stomach, I guess that's good enough. I mean, I guess we would be going a little overboard if we got the panties or something. But man, oh man, the hollow lane waste to the whole team. Um, I like that they figured out, you know, who the, they figured out the hollow plan. Uh, pretty early. I mean, basically the damn near the next episode, which is cool. This episode was pretty straightforward. I mean, I mean they did fail once again. Um, Vincent was doing his little mind trip, going back to the past, trying to figure out, you know, um, the spell to lock the hollow away. And for a moment, this man, I'm telling you, he had it. He had it, but he he was just cocky, you know. Once you start throwing it in the person that you're beating's face, they got that, they got that, that, that moment where they can just come back. You know, you don't, it's not over until it's over. But Vincent, he thought it was over too soon, but she showed this man. Not only that, but she burned the book, which I'm confused about. I mean, I mean, it looked like she just did a regular fire spell, but what's the difference between, you know, her fire and the fire Vincent was using to try and burn the book the first time so that I kind of don't understand maybe one of y'all understand it or maybe it's just one of those things you're just supposed to overlook because now I'm overlooking it and so now she has Hope's body and I'm pretty sure it's not permanent even though they might say it is I'm pretty sure it's not but it's actually pretty sad I mean 
Klaus was telling that story, you know, basically telling her how he was before he even met her, before she was even born, and that she changed his life. And she said she was gonna fight. That was the cutest thing ever. Now I'm, I actually feel sorry that, you know, the hollow has to be in her body, but that's the weirdest thing. Like that whole group of people just being, like they're following a, a seven year old. It's like, what? Following a seven year old? Y'all are some freaking adults. Like y'all should be trying to take her power or something. Not being uh, a follower to a seven year old, but I guess that's how witches are. I don't know. I mean, like I said, we had um, we had uh, Haley and suit and tie. You know, that's Elijah. Oh, man, she. I thought she was gonna say something to this man, but she didn't. But this that that was just crazy. She really looked like she wanted to say something, but she just couldn't. And I mean, she's really shaking. Oh, and even when he went after her, she was like, you know, it was a mistake bringing hope here and you know, coming here with you and stuff like that. And it's sad. You know, I really hate to watch when they build two characters, you know, together um, as a couple and stuff like that. But then it's sad to watch all, like to watch that building that they've built, um, you know, with these two people just crumble. And it's, it's sad. They used to like uh, Haley, but um, as far as this season goes, she has been impressing me. Um, and just wanting to do the right thing and all of that is really just making me have respect for her because I'm telling you guys, when I say I hated Haley, like I, I came into this season hating her too. Like, how is she going to save everybody? She's like the sorriest person ever, but I'm actually getting some respect for um, Haley. So yeah she's growing on me i guess um but other than that we also had the return of the beautiful the gorgeous the amazing Mwah, sophia king and queen uh Marcel finally got her back she's woken up uh but that's another one of those things where i'm happy for him but then then they want to show us you know they want to show marcel and and um sophia hugged up but then they want to panel the camera over to Rebecca and Rebecca turning away and looking like she want to cry. That's some sad shit too. I ain't gonna lie. I like both of them. I like Sophia. I like Rebecca. If I had to choose one, if I had to choose one, I'd go with Rebecca for one reason only. They're both beautiful, but I think Sophia is way more beautiful, but I would go with Rebecca because that accent, I'm a sucker for them accents. I'm telling you that accent just put her like if Sophia's looks put her to this to my ceiling Rebecca's Rebecca's um her looks would put her like to my fan but then her accent pff, would put her as far up as a Trump Tower or something like that um I don't even know I wonder how that relationship is gonna go like are they gonna keep Sophia alive this season um with Marcel or I feel like if they did I feel like Nine times out of 10, Marcel will probably end up cheating on Sophia with Rebecca uh, because as you could see in this episode, it's not like he could just tell her that he no longer has feelings for her. I mean, that's that's thousands of years of feelings, so that's not just gonna go away after meeting one person. Um, them losing Hope, uh, Keelan, Freya, having S-E-X finally, did I miss anything to, you know, who didn't have a plan at first to get rid of, you know, the hollow came up with a plan all of a sudden. Um, but him saying that he, 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 there's something he could do, but if he does it, it will be the end of that family. It will be the end of their, their slogan, their line. What is he thinking? What can he do? I don't, I don't have a clue. I mean, I thought, I thought he ran out of ideas and strategies and plans that he could execute, you know, once that book was destroyed or, you know, I thought everything he could have done, he tried or just wasn't capable of. So what does he have in store now? I don't know. That's, that's a, that's another, that's another one I'm like 
gonna have to figure out with you guys. I don't know. Maybe y'all have some idea or suggestion because I'm, I'm clueless on that one. But hope you all enjoyed my reaction. Hope you enjoyed my review. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Until next time, you guys. Deuces.